Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are at the end of the month, but I still managed to do the monthly animation. I wasn't completely sure if I could actually do it because as you might have noticed, this week I didn't have a video on the on Wednesday in the middle of the week because Basically, I had a shift this week that was extremely exhausting, so I decided not to do that or decided I, I, I did just it felt way too tired to actually do it. So what I did instead is this weekend prepare the monthly animation. You can see, you can see part is the flamingo. And part is the part is Genesis to female as a character. So there's actually two, as you might have seen. So you will see how I managed to do that relatively quickly later on. <clears throat> yeah, I looked up a few videos about flamingos walking, and it is really interesting because actually they run with their knees bent forward so the kind of the wrong way yeah uh, I had to build up a bit with the with Genesis to female because she had a previous setup that moved her around the whole area so I had to set up that as well and make sure that she isn't in the way so the flamingo got a one second animation that is basically one full step <clears throat> And what I managed to do, what we will see, is how I made an animate light block of this. So basically an animation block. Um, what I mean with this is that you can see in the bottom uh, part of the screen I have a timeline, which is basically a, a frame by frame animation. And you next to it you see animate light, which works a bit different. What it does is it uses blocks, as you can see. Um, these blocks can be copy pasted. You need to click on the block and when the block is selected, you can copy paste it and put it together. So in this case, I just created a three second loop with the flamingo running on its place so this is intentional in this case the flamingo is not moving from its spot and later on also genesis to female would not move from the spot she is standing on instead you will have a camera that you can see that is set up to scroll over the burp so it creates the illusion of actually walking i had a bit of trouble setting up the camera um, I, I tried to do this manually by hand and it just didn't feel right so I deleted the camera created a new one and then used <coughs> one of the sliders one of the translators the X translator in this case to move the camera on a steady pace so it moves 50 units of measurement between five frames so 10 units of measurement per frame constantly past the uh, past the bird and the bird has a looping animation that is one second long and it is prolonged to three seconds the actual animation is about four seconds a bit more it's it's 130 frames simply because when genesis to female is moving through the frames so i'm starting with genesis to female here she is moving basically also on the spot but she's also moving through the through the panning camera and i wanted to make sure that she's actually more or less off screen when the whole thing ends yeah, I tried to look up if there was a pre-installed running animation for Genesis to female, but the animate light does not have a running block. You will see me play around with this. There, is, there are a few walking blocks 
for her, like like walking around the corner, walking straight, start walking from a standing per, uh, point and stop walking from a walking point to a standing point. Yeah. I could have also tried to give her a one second walking animation and copy paste that, but I would have I would have had to make that in the first second so uh, instead I decided I'm simply not going to I'm simply animating her from the from the 40 from half actually ha yeah about one third into the animation because that is when she is starting to get into the frame of the camera but yeah one the thing that is easier with this kind of animation is when I move the camera around the person I can move the person on the spot so I don't have to readjust the perspective here uh, each time I'm doing this. It looks a bit weird. It, it's, not, it's not a perfect animation at, at no point, but I think I'm getting better at this, so I'm, I'm really kind of happy with this. And yeah, she is basically running, trying to catch the bird that escaped somehow. So this is a bit of a fun animation working with the content that I currently make, or that I mainly make currently, which is the Lords of Magic content as well. I'm strongly thinking about doing a Lords of Magic playthrough at this point. There's only two faith or two factions missing, uh, missing. The Order, which is European Knights stuff and the Death Cult, which I have to look into to see how I animate this. I will at no point animate Barcode. <laughs> I will definitely not do Barcode as a character. I'm pretty sure I won't. Ma yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I won't. This is not 100% sure, but it feels like I won't uh, actually do that. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking about actually doing a playthrough of this with... Uh, with... Uh, uh, yeah, with, with um, the live stream as the start for the first time I'm playing but I'll tell you more about this next month which is in two days but nevertheless and yeah we'll see how this uh, all comes out and if I actually do it or if I uh, decide to do something else for the live stream and not play lots of magic yet but I will most likely play lots of magic uh, one full playthrough on my channel at some point just because I made so much content about it and because I like the game so much anyway back to this animation at some point you can see that I first animated the legs then I animated part of the arms and at this point where I set it to 130 frames I'm basically doing all the all the pieces each time so basically each frame I'm doing both legs and both arms before I finish with this yeah uh, last but not least I was looking at the background I was not sure how I wanted to do this and yeah I've decided to do the the water temple background also to copy paste this I basically duplicated the warrior node which is currently naked so I'm not showing it and I basically put all the Aquamancer gear on her so this is the Aquamancer character that is running alongside. That's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and as usually you all stay safe stay healthy and I will see you guys around.